Hello everybody and welcome back to another My Porch Prince tutorials. This is Kira and today we are going to be decorating this shabby uh, like vintage style junk journal and if you've been following along with us you probably saw our last tutorial where we created the cover, the, the base for this journal as well as the signatures and the pages that went inside of it so make sure to check that out. Uh, that video out if you haven't already. Sorry if I'm like sound a little stuffed up today. I think my allergies are just wrecking me. I feel like I swallowed a cotton ball. But um, for today's video, we're gonna be doing the decorating in this journal. And to decorate, I'm gonna be using a bunch of projects that we created uh, over the course of the last month. So if you've been subscribed and following along, you should already have these pieces available. However, if you haven't, don't worry. Um, I've gone ahead and created a playlist of all of those videos. So you can just go through, find all of these projects, craft along with us, and then come back to this video later if you want. Um, I'll also be doing a couple of uh, like unique projects in this video, just a couple of small things. So altogether, this should be a really quick and simple decorating. And kind of keeping with that simple, quick decorating theme, I'm going to be starting off with these snippet clips that we created, which are just really easy decorating. You just clip them right into your journal, no thought really needed. Same with these uh, like lace doily page toppers. Now, if you want to, you can glue these in or you can use like a paper clip to clip them to your page and they can go on the top of your page. It's just sort of like a little bit of decoration or they can clip onto the side of your page and this works as both a decorative feature and also a practical feature where you can tuck ephemera kind of behind this piece so for that i'm going to be grabbing some pieces from our everything ephemera pack now as per usual all of our kits that are shown in our video will be linked down in the description box so you can find these in our etsy shop and you can get you know any of the pieces that you see here and we also have an Amazon affiliate shop where you can get a lot of like the hardware, like the paper clips or um, certain charms or bulldog clips or things like that. You can find all of that there. And with these little um, decorative paper clips that I made here, these are our um, altered paper clip ribbons, which were a lot of fun to make. These can also be a place to tuck ephemera into. Now, I usually distress my ephemera with like distress ink and also like a paper shredder. However, I cannot find my paper shredder. It is lost somewhere in the mess upon my table. So, you know, feel free to go as far as you like with decorating any ephemera pieces you want to add in your journal. I'm going to keep things pretty simple today. Like a lot of my pieces are not printed front and back they're only printed on the front so anything that kind of sticks out I'm just gonna go over with some distress ink and kind of make it blend in a little bit more but that's about all I'll be doing for that today um, since I've already got a lot of other decorative pieces to use I'm just gonna kind of keep ephemera simple although I am trying to kind of think ahead and use pieces that still like go together color wise pattern wise I'm not using anything um, that doesn't match sort of the vibe I'm going for with this journal. I'm kind of keeping things sort of vintage, pastel-ish, um, just, you know, thinking about that as I go along. And next I'm going to be adding in some of my more permanent features, including these masking tape envelopes that we created earlier this month. Um, this was another video project that a lot of people seem to enjoy. And I'm just going over the back of them with some glue and that's going to create some spaces for tucking ephemera behind the wallet or I guess not the wallet, sorry, the envelope, behind the envelope as well as inside of the envelope. So I've got lots of places for ephemera and this is kind of a cute extra addition to my journal. And I'm just gonna do that with each of these pieces. Some of them are pockets. Um, some of them I will be adding in using paper clips. It's kind of up to you how permanent you wanna make things in your journal. Sometimes I like the option to be able to take things out of a journal and use them in a different project in the future. So, you know, it's kind of up to you what you want to do. And you may want to leave some blank space in your journal for writing, or you might want to fill it with more decorating. So I have these pockets from the My Craft Room Journal Kit, which is a kit I featured heavily in this journal specifically. 
and I'm just filling it up again with some general ephemera pieces. Some from that kit, some are from the Everything Ephemera kit. Um, and I'm also adding some of these fussy cut butterflies that you'll see me use throughout this journal. And I'm also adding this like wooden star you might recognize from when we made the uh, altered paperclip ribbons. So again, there will be links for this uh, in our Amazon shop and down in the description box for these kits and these items if you're interested. But you know, feel free to decorate uh, if you get inspired while working however you want to. And speaking of continued inspiration here, I'm going to be adding in this uh, scrappy folio. It's like a neutral folio that I put together kind of near the beginning of this month. And I'm going to be adding some Velcro dots to the back of this and that way I can put it into my journal and also take it out again. I like to do this for some of my larger or thicker pieces just in case sometimes they end up being too thick uh, and the journal can't close, I can remove them if I need to. So again, these Velcro dots will be available in our Amazon shop if you are interested in looking into them, they're pretty handy. And something else I like to do while decorating is keep an eye out for decorating opportunities. So if you have a clip, you know, at the top of the page, you could always tuck something inside of it. Same with like paper clips, the back of paper clips, um, things like that. You might find you have places to clip things down or like tuck more ephemera into those sort of places just so that they look a little more finished. So for example here I added this uh, freebie bookmark that we made earlier this month so um, make sure to check that out if you are interested in the freebie but uh, clipping it in made space on the back for some more ephemera so you know just keep out uh, an eye for opportunities for things like that while journaling. And also if you have again like a larger piece I made these um, sort of like uh, pop out pockets here. Um, these are really fun to make. However, they are kind of thick. So I am adding it into the journal using those Velcro clips just in case I need to take it out if it gets too thick. This is definitely the thickest item that I put in this journal and I'm putting it in kind of early just to sort of keep an eye on how much stuff I can fit inside of my journal. But it's a really nice way to uh, fill up a journal if you're trying to thicken it up. And for decorating, I also like to go in with some really simple methods like taking these paper lace doilies and I like to cut them in half and just glue them down into the, like the background of a page and it just makes the paper a little bit more interesting. You know, we're kind of all about layering while working here. So, you know, as many layers as you can get on a piece, even for a simple label, instead of just gluing down a journal word, try gluing it down to another uh, label on top of a scrap piece of paper, on top of a scrap piece of fabric. You know, you can just really layer things up and make them unique. And speaking of unique, I actually went back to this uh, older kit that we have. It's called Antique Notebook Cards. And they're just these little notebook pieces of paper here. I just printed them out on regular paper, cut them out, added some distress ink, and I'm gonna use like a little, um, oh, what do you call this? A page tab on top of it, just to make it a little more decorative. And this will give just kind of a cute little uh, like notebook for some writing space. I'm just gonna staple them together, nothing too crazy here. And again, all of these little projects are optional. I'm just kind of trying to give you guys some ideas for things you can add into your journal. I know sometimes when you're staring at a new blank journal, it can feel a little intimidating uh, to think of what to put into all of those pages. So hopefully you're getting some ideas as we go along here for items to add into your journal. And it doesn't have to be complicated. So like I'm just taking two simple pockets here and layering them one on top of the other. And this is gonna make up space for adding in some tags and ephemera and this uh, video actually comes with this freebie here and I'm going to be using all of these pieces but to start I'm just going to cut out this tag and use that in the pockets just creating some layers some simple decorating here um, adding in maybe some like ribbon to top off the tags to again just give them some detail and if you're new to junk journaling and looking for some tags you might want to use we actually have a uh, freebie tag uh, video so make sure to check that out you can get the items used in that video for free it comes with some paper some tags some ephemera pieces so check that out if you haven't um, but otherwise, you know, just continue on with decorating. Like I have this, uh, the other half of my lace doilies here. So I'm going to go over them with some distress ink and just glue them down to make them look layered and pretty. And then I have this, uh, sort of book 
shelf bookcase book spine pocket that comes with that freebie in today's video and I'm going to be filling it with some ephemera that I am stealing from this shabby Victorian scrap pack journal that my mother made um, a couple months ago. Um, I just got kind of lazy and didn't feel like printing and cutting more <laughs> ephemera out so I'm going to steal some some out of hers. Shh, don't don't tell her. <laughs> but if you are looking for like ephemera that goes well with some of these projects and papers in this journal specifically, um, that scrap pack has a lot of beautiful pieces in it that match the aesthetic of this journal really well. So um, I will have a link to that down below if you are looking for ephemera pieces you might want to use. But otherwise, I'm just going in with some scrap ribbons here, some scrap uh, like journal words and things like that. Um, my little fussy cut butterflies and just doing some basic decorating to fill up some of my pages. Um, just creating some pockets here. Like I have this round ephemera piece, so I'm going to add glue to like the bottom half of it and glue it on top of a lace doily. And then that's going to create like a little a half circle pocket to again, tuck more tags and ephemera into. And I'm keeping things really simple today. Butterflies everywhere. Butterflies are my solution to decorating today. <laughs> so you're going to see lots of butterflies um, in today's journal. Um, and again, we have uh, links for these fussy cut butterflies if you are interested. All right, and then I'm taking some of these covers. I believe these are from the Shabby Botanist uh, journal. And some of them I'm just tucking in various places and other ones I'm actually going to add glue to the top bottom and one side, leaving the other side open to tuck ephemera into. Little hidden tuck spaces like this can be really fun additions to your journal. And then just, you know, again, decorating the pages, adding some texture with some lacy ribbon and things like that. Um, just adding some finishing touches again, going in with those butterflies. And the freebie for today comes with these little keys um, that you can make into little charms. So I'm going to be cutting those out and gluing them together. You can see I left them like attached to their mirrored half. So then I can just fold it in half and glue it shut like this both of the keys and then I'm going to go over them with some distress ink in the color vintage photo and then I'm cutting like poking a hole on the top of each of them this is a micro hole punch but you could use a needle or something like that just a way to make a hole near the top and I have these little bulb pins that I'm going to be using um, I'm going to just hook my keys onto one of the bulb pins like this and then I'm going to hook another bulb pin on top of that one and that's going to let them be a little bit more loose and like swing a little bit like more freely so they're not so stiff. So I'm just going to grab a second bulb pin here and again we have links to this in our Amazon shop if you are interested. And then I'm just going to hook that into my little paper clip here just like this. And now I have these cute little key charms that kind of just swing and dangle freely in the book. Um, you could hook it off the edge of the page if you wanted to, or you could attach it to a pocket or a tag or something like that. Just kind of a cute little easy charm here. All right, and to finish up decorating, this freebie actually comes with this special little uh, closure that you can use to close your journal. And I'm going to show you how to use this really fast. My journal ended up being a little bit thick for this, so I'm actually going to end up using a different method. I'll show you a little bit later. But for those of you who want to try this, um, this is kind of the tutorial for that. So to start, I'm going to find a place in the very back cover where I want to poke a hole to secure this uh, sort of strap onto the back. Um, the strap is just made out of cardstock. I printed it on cardstock for anyone interested. And so it is just paper, so just keep that in mind. But I'm gonna find a place where I wanna put the hole now. I'm only doing one hole. I do recommend using two um, because I'll show you a little bit later. It kind of swings around um, a little too freely. So using two brads will secure that a little bit better. But um, basically you're just going to make your holes uh, however you can. I'm using a crocodile punch to make things a little bit easier on myself. And then I'm just going to glue this piece here uh, shut and again make a similar sized hole in the back of it just like this. And then using a brad, the same thing I used to uh, bind my journal here, I'm just going to secure it onto the back cover with that brad, press down the tongs like this, and there you go. It's already secured to the back of your journal cover. Now you can see it is swinging. If I had used two, it wouldn't be doing that. So just something to keep in mind. 
And then I'm going to wrap it around the cover and you can leave it kind of rounded or you can crease it so that it folds like, you know, perfectly square over your journal cover. It's kind of up to you. And then it has this little uh, like faux keyhole here and we're going to just glue that on top, like around the strap. And then I used Velcro dots for mine to secure it to the front cover. And I went over the dot with a little bit of distressing to help it hide a little bit more and not be so noticeable on the cover. So just like this, and then you can just secure your journal shut like that. And honestly, it was pretty sturdy. I was sort of surprised given how thick my journal was, um, but I was kind of worried about it. So I decided to try another method here, but you can certainly use this if you want to. Um, but a second option would be to make it kind of like a, a tie closure. So again, punching a hole in my front and back cover here, using an eyelet press to press in some eyelets. And then I'm going to be grabbing some ribbon. I have some jute cord as well as some like scrappy pink ribbon. And I'm going to just kind of measure it out. I want a pretty long amount of it because it's going to be folded in half. So I'd rather always go a little too long with this than too short. So I'm gonna need uh, two matching pieces here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then again, the same thing with the uh, pink sort of scrap ribbon I have here. And then I'm gonna take one of each. So one of the pink ribbon and one of the jute cord, and I'm gonna lace it through those little eyelet holes that we made in the front and back cover. And then I can just take these loose ends and tie them together. And that's gonna make like a little tie bow closure here. I like to tie mine into a bow. You can do whatever you want, but just kind of makes a really cute little easy closure and it is resizable. So it might be nice if you feel like you're going to add more to your journal. Um, this is a pretty decent way to do that. All right. So that is going to finish up the decorating for today's shabby uh, junk journal. I hope that you had fun and got some new inspiration. Let me know what you guys think of this format of kind of creating a bunch of projects over the month and then adding them into a journal. I sort of like it. I feel like it takes off the pressure of trying to think of a million different things to put in a journal right after you make it. You can kind of just make them as you go along and then Put them all together at the end so um, if you guys like this i can do more of these um, where we create a bunch of projects over the month you craft along with me and then at the end of the month we sort of put them all into a final journal so let me know what you think about that um, we do have some christmas videos coming up so it might be a little bit different um, but keep an eye on the channel if you are ready to craft for the holidays and uh, thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next tutorial bye